We're the Yo Ho Ho, it's Tale of the Toaster, welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis Power Tour. In the last video, we beat some of these characters at tennis, all the players over here. And in this one, we're going to start taking out this side of the court by challenging you to a ranking match. Ah, you've already made it to third. I'll accept your challenge now, as promised. Are you ready? Okay, let's see if you can live up to all your legend. Legend. The legendary Sky. <laughs> the legend of Sky Zelda Wood Sword. Hmm. No matter. I've said no matter again. I need to stop saying that. Yep. Straight into the tennis. This is singles. Sky versus Sasha. Never. I missed out on finding out she was called Sasha the first time in doubles because I accidentally skipped over her. But we've already scored. Let's see if we can get another score quickly, use a flat shot, and no, she's returned it. So yeah, as I said in the last episode, I can't just be say basically saying every single action that happens in a tennis match. I need to make topics. Now one topic I promised I would talk about would be the 3DS XL, but I'm going to save that and instead talk about myself a little. So Mario Tennis Power Tour is my first LP. But this isn't the first series I've done on Tale of the Toaster. Before this I had a series called Super Smash Bros. Meme, where I made a Super Smash Bros. style roster consisting entirely of meme characters. And then I made individual videos making move sets for each of those characters, Smash Bros. style. Or at least all of the move sets I could produce. Like, I had no idea what I would do for uh, Leonardo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, or Leroy Jenkins. But yeah, and it was quite good. It got me some subscribers, and some of the videos were pretty good. But over time, I've come to go off the series a bit, because I had a general attitude in my manner of speaking. Like, oh, this move's just another rollout clone. Hey, would you subscribe for me? At the end of each video, and yeah, just bleh. I've since made a roster for Super Smash Bros. Meme 2, containing even more characters, but I don't plan to make any moveset series is for that. At least not at the present time. Probably not ever, because LPing is my whole thing now. I've... I'm obviously doing this game and I know what LP I'm going to do after this. If you hang around on the lucky lair like I do, then I will have already told you what my new LP is, but for you visit, for you LPers, well, for you viewers who are not on the lucky lair, don't know why you aren't, that's a cracking place. I could probably link it in the description, but yeah. If you're on there, you'll know what my next LP is going to be. If you haven't been on there, then you won't know what it's be, and I'm going to keep it a secret from you, so... <laughs> but as... Oh, well, well... Nicely done, Sasha. But yeah, in addition to Super Smash Bros. Meme and Super Smash Bros. Meme 2 rosters, I also made a regular Super Smash Bros. 4 roster. Which I called Super Smash Bros. Knockout. And also a Mario Kart 8 roster. Yeah, and they were pretty good. And it's already match point, so not long left on this. You know, some independent source was claiming that Super Smash Bros. 4 would be calling Super would be called Super Smash Bros. Memories. That rumour was floating around the internet recently. Which sounds good and all, but a, it's completely false because it comes from an independent source and those are never to be trusted. And also, Super Smash Bros. Melee is the SSBM, we can't have two of those. Yeah, that's okay, and we have unlocked Sasha as a playable character. Aw, oh, doesn't she look cute? She looks all... No. <laughs> I'm above everything! I'm so cool in that icon, but then when you're in the tennis match, you're like... Oh, I'm Sasha. How could I lose like that? I'm usually good under pressure. What did I do wrong? Or am I just outclassed? Coach, train me. I can't bear to go on being a loser. 
and steadily pays off. Yeah. Take shake. She takes things too seriously. You can't win under pressure unless you know how to relax. Junior players tend to be emotionally wonky. But seniors are often mentally and technically fit. Don't bother trying to psych them out. Got it? Then practice hard and go for the next rank up. And casual nodding, as with at the end of every other match. Let's go chat with everybody like I always do. Rank 2 match was amazing. Ooh, that was a bit harsh of a thing for you to say, Vegeta. Congrats on the Rank 2 match. Aren't I noble to congratulate the one who beat me? Never, yeah, you've been saying crap behind my back. Shadow Swingers! Yeah, on rat. Shadow Swing King, but you're a girl. You'd be a queen. You beat me this time, but once I build up my endurance, you better be ready for a rematch. You, you, I'm saying the same thing again. I, I should really get something else to say. During our rank 2 match, I didn't put my whole body into my swing, so they had no power. Rats. Any other day I would have had you. You don't belong in junior class the way off, Tommy. Hurry up and join the seniors. Well, let's indeed hurry up. You say anything different? Yeah, you do, but... Hey, Chris! Maybe I did blow the doubles match against you two, but it's payback time with singles. I challenge you to a ranking match. That's the first time ever anyone's ever acknowledged my prowess in doubles mode. Yeah. I'll get revenge for that doubles match. So you want to play a rank one match? Rank one. And then I won't be in the juniors in singles or doubles. We've just got to beat Chris, but I'm not gonna let you win that easily. Oh no, you can count against that foul. But we just gotta keep using our technique, and then we can get the tennis ball onto the other side of the fence. <laughs> Been actually some tennis related news recently. This is a tennis LP, so why don't I bring it up? Did you hear about that absurdly long tennis match at the Olympics which went on for like four and three quarters hours? Or was it three and three quarters hours? Either way it was way too long. Way, way too long. But yeah, sounds interesting. It's tennis, so bring it up. Don't know if there's anything else to say about Super Smash Brothers meme. If I cared for it more I'd advertise it like crap in this video but to be honest I don't really recommend watching it anymore with the attitude I had on. If I did make a Super Smash Bros. Meme 2 moveset series then I would take a better approach to it. Additionally some of the videos I didn't even do myself I just linked to Chincherinas's movesets but do you play me Chincherinas's movesets well, videos are absolutely amazing. If I've mentioned him, I might as well link to him in the description as well. Really, you should... If you like Smash Brothers, you should check him out. He will make Reggie Fees be a playable character in Super Smash Brothers Wall. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Chris. Oh, you managed it. My dad's boyfriend's called Chris. He owns a salon. I get free haircuts. He gave me a perm. I used to have naturally curly hair, but one day I just decided to straighten it for a laugh. Because I knew I'd have, like, a really long fringe. So I did that for a laugh, and indeed it went below my eyes. But it never curled back again. That made me sad. But Chris gave me three perms. I've had two so far. They take a long time, but they're worth it. But it's a good job that... He does live with me, Dad, because I wouldn't be able to maintain it by myself. Like, it goes it goes flat if you don't treat it regularly. And I'm not so good at treating it. Like, I'd have flat hair within a matter of days if Chris didn't live with me, Father. But, yeah. So, uh, speak about something, blah, I was thinking considering saying maybe one thing but I decided against it and then you ended up saying nothing and oh don't let the ball bounce on the ground game point come on do this charge up that shot and boom change court and 
We've still got another set to go before the end of the match, haven't we? Well, you gotta prolong your videos anyway. So, first serve. Nice! He's charging up his own. Haven't had any emulator lag so far, that's been lucky. Oh, come on! Just as soon as I say that, come on! Because you don't see any of my emulator lag, as I run it. I run the gameplay footage through a piece of awesome software called Visual Dub. No, I keep calling it Visual Dub, it's Virtual Dub. I don't know why I keep calling it but Norton! Norton 360 is performing a background task. Full system scan in progress. That's not helpful at all. Yeah, every time I get emulator lag, I have to stop the Audacity recording. I have to stop the Visual Boy Advance recording. And I usually end up letting the opponent score while I'm doing so by accident. Like he managed to bring it up to deuce because I accidentally let him score while I was sorting out this lag problem. Yeah, people always complain about Visual Boy's uh, lag in its recording function, but the recording function isn't the problem. That's easily fixed with the virtual dub, yeah. It's just the in-game lag which screws me up. You need some more control, very much so, and some stroke power as well. And now we've got Chris in that smashing! This match is over, Sky wins and move up to senior! I wonder if the... What was that? I wonder if the guy I beat to reach senior felt this lousy after our match. This means my work in junior singles is over, but it still bugs me big time. I'll get you back on the senior courts. Watch me go, coach. Why does your avatar look like a girl? I mean, Chris is a multi-gender name, but I'm pretty sure it's a boy from his in-game sprite. Or his during match avatar thing. Now that he's not first with the juniors, he'll finally focus on placing with the seniors. It's hard to get into the senior standings, so it's no wonder he'd want to stay a junior for so long. But senior matches are the only way to get good enough to reach the real top. Varsity. And we get a medal! A gold medal. You're with the seniors now, so no hanging around with us. Get to the senior courts and go for a rank. And that we won't actually be doing in the next episode. We're going to show off something else. But for now, let's talk to everybody before I end the video. And as usual, if you're just one of those viewers who only comes here to see game progress and not me talking to NPCs, then stop watching now. My ex-first place partner is at the training center. The new training machines are open to seniors, so he's off making the most of them. Maybe you should get working up. Well, you are a senior in doubles, so you've got access to go there. He needs court practice. I'll get the last lap with my shadow swing. I'm so happy I get to practice on the tennis courts. <laughs> so happy. Whee! Wahoo! If you leave for the seniors, you're placed with the... You know what? Just screw that. You're bound to place with the seniors in a ranking match, and then your junior rank goes away. Then I'll move up to number one without a fight. Why would I bother challenging you? Not only that, but I think the Shadow Swingers, well, one of the Shadow Swingers would get a rank. Either that or one of this lot. So, the new training machines are all the rage with senior and varsity classes. Have you tried them yet? No, nope. that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. I, I hear the training center machines are finished. I, I, I wonder how long it'll be before we get Try them. Well, you'll only get to try them if you move up the ranks, I'm afraid. My partner's ecstatic that you beat the guy at the top. With him at, out of the junior standings, my partner jumped back to his previous rank. You're a virus! Phenomenal is yours truly now! We Phenom should stick together! Uh, no. You talk behind my back. And I don't appreciate that, Vegeta. So, in this episode, we basically finished up with Juniors for good. In the next episode, we're going to go to this training center. See you then. <laughs>